Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have no future together, royal expert warns. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's newness may be weak, according to royal expert Tom Powers, who believes the couple's relationship and career have struggled. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's relationship and career may have hit a wall, according to a royal expert. After a series of setbacks, the royal expert and author of Revenge, Meghan's battle for Harry and Windsor explain what went wrong for the couple. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British royal family. Ball claims that the stress of Harry and Meghan's new celebrity lifestyle could affect their relationship and cause stress. After a tumultuous few months when they lost a major deal with Spotify, the couple are now trying to grow their careers in the growing celebrity lifestyle in Montecito, California. Tom told Women's Magazine, they fantasize that they can play the royal card, but at the end of the day they have to play the anti-royal card and there's a limit to that. Posts are out of date. People find it difficult to work with them. He then opened up about the careers of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, saying without hesitation, I don't think Harry can afford anything. In my opinion, Meghan is too calculating and direct to do anything that would threaten her status and what she has established. Tom also believes Meghan is lost in her career, telling the publication, I think she wants a career, but the question is, what is a career? I think it's hard for her to understand that you need reality. There's a sense of entitlement she's never had before. Tom's comments follow the announcement that Harry will return to the UK next month for a poignant charity awards ceremony, but Meghan will not. Prince Harry is said to be celebrating the achievements and resilience of seriously ill teenagers and their families, supported by Well Child, at an event in London on September 7, the eve of the anniversary of the late Queen's death. Britain's longest reigning monarch, Queen Elizabeth II, died peacefully at Balmoral Castle in Scotland last September 8 at the age of 96 after 70 years on the throne. King Charles and Queen Camilla are expected to mark the first anniversary of her death privately at Balmoral. Prince Harry has been a patron of Well Child for 15 years and regularly attends its annual awards ceremony, but Meghan is not expected as she has been a guest at previous events. She first attended the annual event with Harry in 2018, and at the 2019 awards, the prince revealed Meghan was pregnant when she attended the ceremony last year and was emotional during her speech. Last year, Meghan was due to attend the awards ceremony with her husband. However, the World Child Awards 2022 took place on the day of the Queen's death and the couple pulled out of the event, with Harry flying to Scotland to meet the rest of the royal family.